Good morning, folks. We've got a new comet, severe flash flood events, earthquakes, and of course, space weather. Let's begin there as we come to spaceweathernews.com. We're taking a peek at the last 24 hours on our star, and once again, as we head towards sunspot minimum and perhaps a longer-term grand cycle minimum, the sun is playing its part. No eruptions, no solar flares, and indeed there's only one little sunspot visible this morning. The disk is nearly blank. The solar wind continues that calming trend as well as we are between coronal hole streams at the moment. Geomagnetism is calm, but we did have some relevant plasma penetration into the upper ionosphere yesterday. Speaking of coronal holes, the central grouping turning out will impact Earth with its solar wind this weekend, while the next big guy in coming from the left is the southern opening. You can see there isn't much separating the coronal segments, it's just one after another right now. And from stereo A behind the sun, you can see it as it turns away here and towards Earth. We see a bright little active region near its northern reach too, possibly sunspots there as well. Largest earthquake of the day was a 6.2 that struck Indonesia. Now that doesn't even get them out of bed in that part of the world, certainly not scary. Actually less relevant than Nevada's five pointers three days ago. But alas, scary or not, it hit the magnitude 6 threshold and it was in fact a miss just outside our Indonesian alert zone. We had been back up to four magnitude six hits in a row, but the fifth here fails. I am actually not sure that was enough pressure release for them, but we're moving on. Let's check out NEO-WISE, having detected two new objects. One is in that gray area between comet and asteroid, which is a fascinating topic, but more importantly, the other object is a comet with utterly fascinating orbital parameters. I've loaded the ephemeris and JPL tool so you can see its orbit is very tilted. It's a five-year Jupiter comet, just like Honda, so it comes in twice a decade. Except while Honda never has a chance to hit Earth, the ecliptic passage of this comet appears to be almost exactly at 1 AU. So while the comet will be 32 million miles behind us this time when it comes close in February, at some point in future decades or centuries, that thing is going to break up from the southern part of the solar system up to the north, and Earth is going to be about a five iron away. And yeah, I checked. Five years from now, it is much further away, so that threat is not imminent. Wrapping up here, this was the scene in Turkey, and believe it or not, this wasn't as bad as the snowstorm that hit just to the north of it. At least two people have died in the southern country floods. These two here were lucky enough to grab the sidewalk and pull themselves up. We're keeping watch on all of it, folks. Our latest streak does end at four magnitude six earthquakes predicted in a row. Website members, we've got a deeper look episode out for you yesterday on Earth's magnetic reversal signal in the core and what that jet stream accelerating way down deep really means. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.